Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient, etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants with oyster shells, streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent, to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask, what is it? Let us go and make our visit. In the room, women come and go, talking of Michelangelo. The yellow fog that rubs its back upon the window panes, the yellow smoke that rubs its muzzle on the window panes, licked its tongue into the corners of the evening, lingered upon the pools that stand in drains, let fall upon its back the soot that falls from chimneys, slipped by terrace made a sudden leap, and seeing that it was a soft October night, curled once about the house and fell asleep. And indeed, there will be time for the yellow smoke that slides along the street, rubbing its back upon the window panes. There will be time. There will be time to prepare a face to meet the faces that you meet. There will be time to murder and create, and time for all the works and days of hands that lift and drop a question on your plate. Time for you and time for me, and time yet for a hundred indecisions, and for a hundred visions and revisions, before the taking of toast and tea. In the room, the women come and go, talking of Michelangelo. And indeed, there will be time to wonder, do I dare, and do I dare? Time to turn back and descend the stair. Do I dare disturb the universe? In a minute, there is time for decisions and revisions which a minute will reverse. Shall I say, I have gone at dusk through narrow streets and watched the smoke that rises from the pipes of lonely men in shirt sleeves leaning out of windows. I should have been a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floors of silent seas. And in the afternoon, the evening sleeps so peacefully, smoothed by long fingers, asleep, tired, where it malingers. Stretched on that floor, here beside you and me, should I, after tea and cakes and ices, have the strength to force the moment to its crisis? And would it have been worth it after all, after the cups, the marmalade, the tea, among the porcelain, among some talk of you and me, would it have been worthwhile to have bitten off the matter with a smile, to have squeezed the universe into a ball, to roll it towards some overwhelming question? And would it have been worth it after all, would it have been worthwhile, after the sunsets and the dooryards and the sprinkled streets, after the novels, after the teacups, after the skirts that trail along the floor, and this and so much more? I grow old. I grow old. I shall wear the bottoms of my trousers rolled. Shall I part my hair behind? Do I dare eat a peach? I shall wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. I have heard the mermaids singing each to each. I do not think they will sing to me. I have seen them riding seaward on the waves, combing the white hair of the waves blown back when the wind blows the water white and black. We have lingered in the chambers of the sea by sea girls wreathed with seaweed red and brown till human voices wake us and we drown. <laughs>